That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Hello, welcome to my channel, Retro Stash Repairs. I'm really excited about today's content because I'm finally going to get to work on a project idea I've had for a while now, which is turning a Game Boy macro into a Sheikah Slate. And before I get any comments like, oh, this isn't an original Game Boy, or at least a Game Boy from the uh, Game Boy line, all this is is a DS Lite mod modification. Exactly point taken. So if you take the top screen away from a DS Lite, what is it? Just a Game Boy Advance. So for me at least, that's a Game Boy. And I chose this design, you know, or Game Boy type because of the overall shape. It's the closest to Sheikah Slate. And I originally had the idea to use a Game Boy Advance, but I was like, no, that's just a little too rounded. I thought about a Game Boy Advance SP, like theming it out as a Sheikah Slate. But I'm like, no, I think I'll just go with the macro just because it's perfect for it. It's the right shape, you know, right dimensions. It plays Game Boy Advance. Yes, I know it won't play, you know, original Game Boy DMG games or Game Boy Color games. But if you're like me and mostly just play Game Boy Advance games, then that won't be a problem anyways. And, you know, some Game Boy Color games and original DMG games, there's repro games out there that you can play on the Game Boy Advance either way. And there's also the EverDrive carts that you can actually use on here and play like pretty much everything when it comes to Game Boy games. So now that I got that out of the way, a brief explanation on how I'm going to approach this is I'm going to be painting the shell. And you know what I have here is just the red uh, aftermarket shell and then a clear flat one that will fit perfectly with this mod then adding designs with vinyl and then after that painting it with glow-in-the-dark paint and then in the end of course putting it all together so and I'm actually gonna be using a screen that I have you know partially for parts the digitizer is all messed up but the screen is still good and I'm gonna be using a different set of buttons as well and I'm also going to be using Helder's flex amp which I'll be using the speaker that came with this shell. Hopefully it works out good. And that's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'm starting off by taking everything apart and typing up everything that's necessary to paint. The next step is to cover up the X and Y buttonholes, which I completely forgot to do before painting. For that I will be using some UV resin. Then I looked up a design using online source material as well as actual gameplay footage. I used Illustrator to tweak it up a bit to my liking and adjusted the sizing to fit perfectly with the shell. I'm using stencil vinyl to paint the negative areas black.
I'll go ahead and be using the tape again to go ahead and cover up the handle areas to paint yellow. I'll go ahead and be using glow in the dark paint and mixing a little bit of orange into the yellow to get a good color. Now that the yellow dried, now it's time to add the main Chica design with some gold vinyl. I'll be using a Cricut to cut out the design. Now that it's all cut, I'll go ahead and remove all the negative areas and apply it to the shell using some transfer tape. I'm going to go ahead and use some black vinyl to apply the black lines on the top of the Sheikah eye on the back. I will then cut and apply some yellow vinyl that will be placed on top of some of the gold areas. I will then be using some glow in the dark vinyl for the light blue lit up areas on the Sheikah slate. After that, I went ahead and cut out all the vinyl from the holes where the buttons go. I went ahead and drilled that a small hole on the upper right hand side, more about that later. I will be taping up and painting some buttons as well as a Jonas Brothers DS game to cover up the cartridge slot.
Midway through the project, I got the bright idea of moving the LED power light to the exact spot where I drilled out the hole earlier and changed the LED from green to blue. I will be cutting the edge of a donor board to place it in the exact spot and solder all the wires necessary. Then I used the epoxy resin again to cover up the hole for the LED light. After that I'll finish it off by painting in the final touches using the glow in the dark paint with the yellow, orange, and light blue. Now I will add a design on top of the DS game using the gold vinyl. I went ahead and had to cut the vinyl that's around the battery cover in order to remove it. And now that I'm finally done with all the design and the shell, it's time to put it all together and adding the Helder's Flex Amp, the speaker, and the screen.
After many days and hours of work, I'm finally done and in my opinion, it looks awesome. So now that it's all put together and done, it's time to give it a little bit of test run with some Zelda A Link to the Past. Alright, so that pretty much does it with this video. I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out in the end from the overall design and relocating the LED, changing it from green to blue, the glow in the dark future, you know, with the black light, it looks really cool. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about it and even from the small details. So I'm super happy about it. And if y'all would like to continue seeing this kind of content, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all again for watching. And don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you won't miss out any of my future content. See you next time.